Now we're working breaking news on the investigation into the tragic school shooting at Sandy Hook Elementary. Connecticut State Police just released thousands of pages of documents from their investigation into the senseless massacre, and tonight we're combing through them. Eyewitness News reporter Marilyn Scherer joins us now live in the newsroom with more. Well, some people are hoping that the electronic report issued at 3 o'clock this afternoon by Connecticut Police will help shed some light on a motive by the gunman. Now, since then, Eyewitness News producers and I have been combing through the evidence which lays out a timeline of what happened that day. The electronic report compiles an extensive Newtown shooting investigation and contains multimedia elements, including photographs, video recordings, and audio recordings. In one video, police are rushing to the shooting at Sandy Hook Elementary School. The police dash cam video shows the response. There are also photographs of the house, bedroom, and gun collection of 20-year-old shooter Adam Lanzer. Many of the documents have been redacted or blacked out. Connecticut State Police Commissioner Ruben Bradford outlines the report in a letter. He says the investigation of this incident is unparalleled in the 110-year history of the Connecticut State Police. Tens of thousands of hours were spent by investigators from all over the country tracking down leads, processing evidence to provide answers in the wake of the terror that morning. Now, all video images of the victims were omitted from that report. Now, in one document within the report, a man who dated Lanza's mother in 2011 said she told him she had scheduled a trip to London the week of the shooting, but canceled at the last minute because of, quote, a couple of last-minute problems on the home front. Reporting live in the newsroom, Marilyn Shera, Eyewitness News.